Thank you for your interest in the Earth-Minded Rain Station Rain Barrel. People have been using rain barrels for hundreds of years to collect and store rainwater from their roofs. Today, rain barrels are gaining in popularity as a convenient and easy way to provide rain pure water for your lawn and garden, and even washing your car for a spot free finish. Not only do they conserve water, but you can also reduce your water bills and show that you care about our environment. The Earth Minded Rain Station is more than just a rain barrel, it's a state of the art engineered rain harvesting system designed for maximum utility, durability, and good looks. With our patent-pending FlexFit downspout diverter, it's easy to install, clean, and winterize. The rain station uses a patent-pending FlexFit diverter. And this diverter is designed to install in your downspout through a hole that you're going to drill in. The diverter is easily inserted by pinching the collection cup and pressing it straight into the hole until it snaps in place. You can see that it has a very nice fit around the inside of the downspout. This will collect water and also divert water when the rain barrel is full, which is a good thing because you don't want rain water running out of your rain barrel and we'll put it back down the downspout. The rain station should be located within one to three feet of the downspout. The hose is designed in three one-foot sections and at the center of each cuff, there's a cut line. The rain station can weigh up to 500 pounds when it's full, and it needs to be placed on firm level soil. If the soil base needs to be reinforced, you can use gravel, bricks, pavers, or slate for this purpose. Be sure to verify that the site is still level after you reinforce it. Start your installation by opening the bag of parts and instructions that came with your rain station. When you organize your components, you'll find the fill hose, threaded grommets, a winterization cap, our patent pending flex fit diverter, a hole saw, a spigot, three Phillips head screws, and the bottom drain fitting with a cap. Start with the rubber components. First, fold this into a C shape like this and insert it tapered end into the hole and then just gently push it out so that it has a real nice flat fit with the rain barrel like so. Do the same with the next. Next we're going to screw in the fittings. We're going to take the bottom drain fitting and I'm going to Dip that into my soapy water solution to add a little lubrication. Then I'm going to hold the bottom, and then we're going to do the same thing with our spigot. If you plan on using your rain barrel on an elevated base to increase the water pressure, it's possible to just switch these fittings. Use a straight edge and a level to check the rain barrel will be installed nice and level, and mark the downspout. Now we're going to measure down two inches, and that's where we're going to drill our hole for the diverter. Taking our drill with the two and an eighth inch hole saw on it, we're going to cut our hole in the downspout. Very quick and simple. Now it's time for us to get our diverter. Squeeze the collection cup and insert the diverter straight into the hole. And once it's snapped into place, we're ready to secure it with the two screws that came in the kit. On the three x four, we're going to insert the diverter on the narrow side. To assemble the lid, line up the locking tab on the lid with the barrel and rotate it into the position where the locking icon is lined up with the arrow. Always keep your rain barrel lid locked in place with the screw, as an open rain barrel can be an invitation to children, and it also invites insects, and we don't want either one of them inside our rain barrel. The rain station offers a variety of ways to use your rain water. It's easy to fill a watering can using the spigot, or the spigot has a threaded end, and you can attach your garden hose to it. 
or you can take the cap off of the bottom fitting and buy a very simple ball valve with an on off switch and then you can either attach a hose or you can attach a soaker hose winterization is simple disconnect the fill hose from the back open up the bottom drain tip the barrel forward unscrew the two retaining screws and grasp the diverter from the bottom and pull it up rotating the bottom so that it comes out and now you can cover that hole with the cap.